Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is a weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that are going on in the world of Transformers and let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Us. So, sort of back to normal now this week after obviously an amazing weekend. Apologies no unboxing yesterday, to be honest, completely forgot. Um, I will get the Springer video reviewed. I've got the, managed to get the transformation process done in between clients here at work and obviously you've probably seen the poll to decide what video I'm going to do later uh, when I get in as well. Very quickly before I forget, I've got no images but um, Hasbro Pulse in the UK, I'm not sure if it's worldwide, has a sale on at the moment. I've just brought Antagony for £18 and they've got the Nemesis there for £120. So check out your Hasbro Pulse. I'm hoping it's worldwide. I only know, I know for definite it's in the UK. Right then guys, let's start off with some of the news. So, Super 7, this is a particular brand that to be honest I've never really brought, but I know that some people do like to buy them. So this is their other colour deco of Unicron that they're going to be releasing. They teased this for some reason. Um, I didn't think there was that much of, um, I suppose, a demand for this particular figure. So, of course, this doesn't transform. It is based on the original prototype, slightly different colours, um, and it's going to be available soon. So yeah, they were teasing this for a little bit, and there's the finished product. Right, this is for, I suppose, some younger viewers. Uh, this is Transformers 1. There's a couple of books coming out. So we've got a ready-to-read book. Uh, we've got an actual movie novelization. So if you want to know exactly what's going on, you can read that. And then finally, there's a Destined for Greatness book as well. Again, all aimed at younger viewers, uh, but maybe as parents like myself, you might want to check them out as well um, as gifts. Right, this looks insane. Again, I don't know too much about these, but I just think the pictures look amazing. So this is Kuru Karakuri Starscream, which is of course a non-transforming action figure, but because it's non-transforming, they can go to town with the extra details that I'm about to show you. So it's got, it's 210 millimeters high, so 21 centimeters high, three interchangeable extra faces and five pair of extra hands. And what I've also noticed about this, and I could be totally wrong, is it looks, basically like it's an all-in-one star screen. So apologies for the reflection. If you want to see this without the glare, head to TFW 2005 or Flame Toys website. So what I mean by this is, look, you've got your standard star screen, which again, I think looks incredible. Details are amazing. And once again, it doesn't transform. It's just like a highly detailed um, action figure. That, of course, looks very much like the, uh, is it the Armada version of him? I think so. I hope I've got that right anyway. My knowledge on all star screams isn't huge, but again, am I, as I say, and that, if I'm not mistaken, is the Cybertron version. So it looks like, because it's a model kit with all of the add-ons and things you can buy. So that's definitely um, Cybertron star screen because I've done a review on him recently. Uh, head sculpt looks amazing. And of course, you've got a Coronation star screen add-on bonus kit as well. Look at this cape, it's amazing. Look at the Decepticon logo on the back there. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So there's all the parts. So yeah, it looks like you can have Armada, Cybertron, and indeed Coronation and normal G1 versions of that figure. Okay, at the moment, this is great news for us UK guys, because up until a couple of years ago, there was only TF Nation every August. Now there's three TF Nations, so there's the main one, there was a mini con in Manchester, there's now another mini con, this is in Reading on the 23rd of November, and of course there's TF UK Con, which has turned into a yearly um, event as well, which is fantastic. I, this tops, I suppose, most of that though. Look, this is Bob Budiansky, he is a confirmed guest at TFCon Toronto, that is a huge coup, and as they've put there, the creator, he is the creator of Transformers Generation 1. So if you go into that event, you're gonna be able to see Bob Budiansky, which is fantastic. And talking of more conventions, YOLO Park and AMK Mini, House of Magnus, Tupac, Delta Magnus, and Sunstorm. These are gonna be BotCon 24 exclusive figures. So these are the small mini model kits. Again, they're just redecos, obviously, of Starscream and Optimus Prime, but they do look great. And of course, they're convention exclusives. Um, I'm thankful that I don't really collect all of the YOLO Park, otherwise I'd be going mental now, trying to message a few of my American friends to get me some of these if they can. However, I think they look great, and if you collect them, and if, you know, if souvenirs and botcons your thing, then I can also always, almost guarantee these are gonna be definites on your list 
Right, third parties, I've been on YOLO, not YOLO Park, Iron Factories first and foremost. They are shipping their G2 Leadfoot figure, which is great, I'll be reviewing him on here. And New Age, this is from their Facebook page. This is, of course, their interpretation of Generation 1 Dinobot Slug. I hate that name, but again, family-friendly channel. Now, the legs on there are already giving me um, anxiety. Look at all the complexity in there. Even though New Age figures are, to be honest, not too bad to transform. It does look great. It does look cartoon accurate. This is the only version they're um, previewing at the moment. And what I mean by that, and anybody who knows and collects New Age figures, there will be at least five other decos of this within the next few months. So they'll have G2, they'll have Comic, they will have um, Damaged, they will have everything. <coughs> Excuse me, they just bring them all out at once and get them all straight out. Sticking with third party, fans hobby's Facebook page as well. I've just screen grabbed these images of, of course, their Star Saber. This is the color images of these figures. We've seen lots of prototypes of these, but we've not seen any color as of yet. So this is great. If you want to see these again without the glare, head to fans hobby's Facebook page as well. You don't even need to log in. I didn't log in, haven't used Facebook in years, but you can just still see the images if you want to. And finally, if you could, well, let me show you where you can order these, some of these from and indeed help me and the channel out. So there's a website called Show Z, and if you type Toys R Us all one word there, it definitely helps myself and the channel out. It gives me an idea of all the things that you want me to review. Now these have everything in there. They have some licensed products by Takara themselves. You can see there is the New Age Slug. There is a YOLO Park. There's 3-0. There's DNA upgrade design kits. There's missing links. There's uh, Doctor Wu, there's Ocular Max, uh, there's Movie Masterpiece Brawl, I think was in one of them. Uh, again, everything you can order from here, apart from Mainline, there's the Movie Masterpiece Brawl, Mainline Studio Series, and indeed Generations. So, as again, quick roundup, what an amazing weekend. Huge thank you to everybody who came and said hello. My voice still hasn't come back. Um, I am going to do my best to try and motor through some of these reviews uh, because I want to get them out there to you guys as soon as possible. Um, again, the Bumblebee, I promise people I'm definitely going to do that a bit more justice uh, because obviously at the time I wasn't expecting to review it there and then and I hadn't many figures on me. So, as always guys, massive thanks for all your support. Hello to all the new subscribers here. Yes, it's a bit primitive with me and my iPad and stuff in the changing room at work, but I do hope that you like the other content as well. And of course, I'm always open to suggestions, um, not to change this yet, because I haven't got a PC yet, but I mean with regards to videos, that's why I'm more than happy to do the Bumblebee versus comparison video for you. As always, guys, thanks very much. Take care.